originally Steve and I did some work on one or two film project ideas together and then the professional relationship later on turned into a friendship and then after that a relationship so it was like one thing became another really. Different songs sometimes came out of things that we were just naturally doing together. There was one day, in the most ordinary of situations, we were in Starbucks in Twickenham and we were looking at this table and there were wonderful things like there was this fantastic starburst and there was a mermaid and, and, and there was an Aladdin's lamp and of course that all became part of the beginning of this island earth. And um, then travelling, of course, travelling to Egypt, um, Sarajevo, some of the exotic ideas, both musically and in some cases lyrically, um, like um, Last Train to Istanbul, some of those ideas would come from actually travelling. So it's wonderful that we've actually been able to not just feed each other but um, enjoy the places that we've been to together and actually really turn some of those into into songs and music. In all sorts of ways, uh, Jo works incredibly hard at, at um, you know, maintaining the small organisation that, that, that we have and, and um, many of the time I have to say, time to switch off now, you know, yeah. get that computer off um, yeah. and let's you know, let's put up shop. And she's very, very dedicated, very hard working. Always has been, uh, both her own things and, and of course, uh, with me. So um, she's fantastic. GTR, now there uh, was an idea of um, me the two Steves, Steve Hackett, Steve Howe, coming together, forming a band. Um, I loved Steve Howe's playing with Yes, thought it was terrific, uh, and wondered if it would work if we had um, this two guitar lineup. Back to the days of Keith Richards, Brian Jones, you know, the twin guitar idea, twin lead players, um, and mythology that, that surrounds most of the era of the Yardbirds when Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page were working together, most of which wasn't recorded, of course. Um, but um, so GTR was, was an idea of trying to, you know, capture that in a, in a, in a test tube, a more controlled conditions um, with the benefit of the fact that, you know, we weren't players in our in our 20s, we, we were players in our, in our 30s at that um, point. So this is a while back, this was 1985. Um, and I think that uh, corporate rock was really in thrall at that time. And I was hoping to make an album with Steve that um, wasn't answerable to the accountants. Uh, but very quickly we found that, um, you know, songs that were um, should we say, uh, rather on the long side, ended up getting shortened and um, inevitably there was creative I interference. So it was not functioning like the sort of cottage industry. It wasn't functioning in the kind of organic way that, that Genesis um, had done. I uh, picked up with Steve in, it was 2001 actually, for the South American tour. I got asked to do that and um, that's the first time I'd worked with Steve, which was great actually, because I was a fan of his. It was actually the very first gig that I ever saw. Uh, my sister took me to that gig in, oh, I can't think, 1983 on the Highly Strung Tour. I mean, actually, it's quite unusual. For, for a start, it's quite unusual for saxophone to be involved in, the, in this kind of music. Um, and um, to actually be able to to get the opportunity to blow on this stuff's fantastic actually because um, normally in jazz you're playing smaller clubs um, and sort of more small gestures, more small intimate intimate things so on a gig like this you're playing bigger venues, nice big PAs and you can actually get to sort of do big gestures and uh, within your shred so yeah love it, love it. Well the duelling with me and Roger and Ace of Wands yeah we, we, we cross cutlasses on that one I think I win, to be honest. I think I win. Um, 
And also with Nick, we sort of dance around a bit like fleas. <laughs> Rob owes me a lot of money. He, he lost out to me in a, a gambling uh, endeavour. And uh, he knows that I have the Polaroids and if he doesn't pay up soon, I'm going public. <laughs>